So are you feeling stuck or stagnant in your career at all? If you are, I wanna share with you a couple things. Well, number one, I wanna share that I've been there. I myself have been there a couple times in my career where I had jobs, I had roles where, you know, I wasn't totally unhappy or miserable, but I felt like I wasn't doing as much as I wanted to do. I wasn't making the impact that I wanted to make and therefore I wasn't getting the fulfillment that I wanted. And I wanna share with you that I understand that feeling and there are things that you can do, choices you can make and action you can take that can remedy that in a really short amount of time. And I wanna share a story with you that goes back about a dozen years and one of those times when I felt really stuck in my job. And it was 2006 and I had been following, Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf region in New Orleans in late 2005. And I was watching the news a lot over the course of 2006 and following the stories and seeing that the disaster recovery efforts weren't really going that well. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna, I was living and working in Phoenix, Arizona, I had a good job, a good healthy income, a good lifestyle, and I decided that I wanted to give back, that I didn't want to focus just on me and my employer anymore, that I wanted to go somewhere and really make an impact. So I resigned from my job, sold my house in Arizona, packed my Jeep, and I drove to New Orleans. This was February of 2007, and I drove to New Orleans knowing nobody. Um, I called ahead before I left about volunteer camps and places that I might be able to stay, but otherwise I didn't know a soul there. So I made it to New Orleans, and long story short, thinking I would stay for a couple of months and volunteer and make a difference and have a great experience, I ended up staying for 14 months. I volunteered and helped run a volunteer camp. I, I got involved with many projects in the community, working in schools and rebuilding homes and in distribution centers. And eventually, I met and met some other volunteers and we settled on helping families get furniture, donated furniture, as they were moving out of those horrible FEMA trailers and back into their rebuilt homes. And in fact, we did that program for a while and then with a couple other volunteers I met, we actually started a nonprofit with the same mission to help families get furniture as they move back into their rebuilt homes. And the reason I share this story is because it was that time, that year, those 14 months that showed me and had me feel what real fulfillment is. I didn't make a dime the entire time I was there. I lived off my savings and credit cards and I just, I was so fulfilled and felt every day like I was making such an impact, even if it was just one person or one family at a time. But it was so rewarding and I got more out of it than I gave, I feel. And I just, it hit me like a ton of bricks that here I am making no money, yet I've never been so fulfilled. So I knew that that's not sustainable, and I'm not asking or sharing or telling that you should go volunteer for a year and work on disaster recovery, but what I am saying is that fulfillment comes in different forms for all of us. And that experience taught me, like, now I know what are the things and the type of things that really light me up, that make me feel fulfillment, and realizing, you know, what's important. And that it's not necessarily about the money. Money is a great result, and we all deserve to have what we want and what we earn. But fulfillment comes from the impact, knowing that what we do matters and that we're appreciated. So I thought to myself, I wanna work on who I am as a person and then put myself in a position where I can create and receive that fulfillment that I've always wanted. And I did a couple more years of nonprofit work and then I went to work at CVS Health in a couple of management and operational roles for five and a half years and great experience, great exp I learned a lot and I needed to do that. I needed to go back to corporate. But I knew I would eventually go do something again that would bring a lot of fulfillment and I wanted to do it on my terms and create it and not only create my path and my opportunity, but create the fulfillment that would come from it based on the impact that I could make. And there's a way that you could do the same thing. You don't have to stay in a position that's not bringing you that excitement that doesn't light you up. There are things you can do, things that I've learned and that I've built into my program, things that you can do to create the impact that you want that will bring you that fulfillment so that you don't have to stay stuck in a job that you don't, you know, not just love, but get excited for every day and make the impact that you want to make and know that every day you're doing something that matters and in return, which is really important, that you're getting some appreciation and gratitude. If you're feeling that way at all, I want you to think about those things like what can you do to create some fulfillment in your life? What can you do that, or what have you done in the past, I should say, that has given you a taste of real impact that 
lit you up every day at the end of the day in the morning when you were going to work or going to your job or going to that volunteer opportunity or whatever it might have been. Having clarity around those things is going to help you create the path that you want. The two keys, and I'll share this right now, there are two keys I'll leave you with to realizing the the fulfillment that you so deserve. Number one, it's taking ownership of your career. No more waiting, no more hoping, no more sitting back and wondering when and if anything's gonna come to you. You have to go out and make it happen. You have to own it and no blaming, no excuses and no blaming, all right? That's number one. And And number two is doing the work like I'm sharing about getting that clarity. When you own it, and you take the steps to get clarity on what it is you really want and who you want to be as a person, I promise you, trust me, I know, not only in my life, but I've worked with other coaches and studied high-achieving, high-impact people who are fulfilled and looked at all the commonalities. And I see it in them, and I saw it in them, and I saw it in myself. These are the things that will create that life for you so that you no more are no longer going through the motions. None of us like to be going through the motions. All right. So think about that. Think about what lights you up and what helps you make an impact so that you can feel some fulfillment. And then just get it into your heart and your soul and your mind about taking ownership and what a difference that will make. And that will allow you to get the clarity that you need to create a career that you love.